Hi guys and welcome back to ADSR Pro with me Mike Smith. We're continuing looking at the new Cubase 8.5 update and this time we're going to have a look at the new additions to chord pads. So I've created a Retrolog synthesizer and the first thing we'll do is go and have a look at this new feature whereby we can just hover at the bottom of the screen and chord pads will open up. So as you can see there when I go down to the bottom let me just take that off again, we'll do it a couple of times and there you go now for me it just it doesn't seem to be that slick it could be a little bit better and it's taken me a little while you can see you've just got to slowly go down and then it takes a while so it's just not that responsive for me I'd, I'd like it to be um, I don't know, just a, a lot better than that. It just seems really slow and not responsive. I mean, for me, it's just as quick for me to have just gone up to projects and chord pads or use my keyboard shortcut. It's as quick. Like I said, that little hot spot where it, it lights up, it's just a little bit rubbish, if I'm honest. It could just be much better. But just my opinion. Um, you know, I'm sure other users may like it. And But... That's one addition. The next thing is... So there's your chord pads as normal. And we've got now this new sections feature whereby if I select that, another four notes light up. And what that does is allows us to trigger a chord as per normal. And then using these four notes, we can play notes from the chord all the chord so you can create maybe little arpeggios and things like that so it is an addition uh, it's not a major overhaul and okay yeah it does something slightly new so I guess it is better is it something I would use not that much if I'm honest um, the thing for me with chord pads uh, was more the circle of fifths and the proximity I tended to use this more than anything, but that's just my personal preference. So there is, you know, some benefits to it. And also we can now, if I click the edit button and go on to players, we can import MIDI loops. So again, it gives you another variation. To be honest, I'm not even sure if that was in 8, uh, mainly because I didn't really use chord pads feature that much. So I guess it's nice to be able to import MIDI loops so you can at least hear how a patch would sound or you know something along those lines. There is more features in here. For instance, we can choose different um, sort of chord options, I believe, if we're playing. Um, so yeah you know it is an additional bonus to Cubase 8.5 it's not a massive update and to be honest I don't think I'll use it that much but again like I said that's just my opinion uh, each to their own if anything I would have liked this feature to be at least a little bit more active I'm kind of getting used to it now but it just that hotspot could be a little bit bigger for me and it could be a, a bit more responsive but that's just my personal preference again so just a quick video this time, I hope you found it useful and until next time, take care, bye bye.